Welcome to The Full Nelson. Today I'm going to be talking to you about weapon lights on firearms and then I'm going to be reviewing specifically the Surefire Turbo Series weapon lights. Um, this one is a KF2A-DFT. So I'm going to start off with the importance of having a weapon light on your firearm. The main reason why it's important to have one is for target identification to make sure that you don't accidentally shoot a loved one, a family member, a friend, somebody on accident because you didn't know what you were shooting at. You don't want to take a firearm in the dark and just start letting loose. You really need to know if you need to be able to identify if it's a threat or not. So that's the main reason why you want to have a weapon light on your firearm. There are some other reasons besides that. One of those is these newer weapon lights, the Candela output is so high that in a low light environment, if you have only, let's say, one intruder or one threat, um, you can put somebody at a very severe disadvantage with a weapon light like this. And what I mean by that is they are so bright that you cannot physically keep your eyes open. The idea that this is something that they used to say quite a bit, and it still applies in certain situations, but you primarily hear military personnel talking about how important it is not to turn your weapon light on you know, in certain situations because then people will know you're there. And all of that is true. There's a lot of truth to that up until you're engaging the threat. And if you're engaging the threat and you believe there's only one threat, um, Using your weapon light during that engagement makes it to where it's almost impossible for the person to fight back. And that is because they, they can't see. They can't, yeah, these are so bright that if you try to look into them with a firearm and acquire your sights, it's impossible. You can see the light, but you can't see where you're actually aiming. You have no idea. That's how, how disorienting these weapon lights are. So they can have an application or, or a, a benefit that way as well. So target identification is the primary reason why it's important that you have a weapon light. And I think that's extremely important. There's a lot of people out there who don't think it's a big deal. I think it's more important than having a red dot or anything like that on your firearm. I think if you have irons and a weapon light, you're better off than having a red dot with no weapon light. That's how important the weapon light is in that, in that scale of things. I have owned some less expensive weapon lights in the past, and those are probably fine for just uh, indoor short range use. The reason I ended up going this route is I wanted weapon lights that I knew would be more robust than what I had been running before. And I also wanted something that would allow me to really reach out a long ways um, if you were engaging targets that were at farther distances than just your normal indoor, indoor use. Um, Surefire in the past for those of you who aren't aware, and I'm going to give you a little bit of explanation here light-wise and what different terminology means with lighting, at least to the best of my understanding. You have lumens, which is the total amount of light output that a light produces, and then you have candela, which is basically how focused or how bright that light is. So if you can imagine having 2,000 lumens that are focused on an area that's the size of a 10-foot by 10-foot wall, as opposed to having 2,000 lumens or even 1,000 lumens that's focused on the area the size of a softball or a baseball or a volleyball, the candela output is going to be higher on the light that has a tighter focus given if they have the same output. And even in some situations, in this case, if you look at Surefire's website, you might look and say, oh, well, the dual fuel light is uh, 1,200 lumens or 1,600 lumens or whatever it is. And their turbo series of lights are only 900 or 700. I think they're some. I think they're like 700. But the candela output on this is 100,000 candela, and the candela output on their dual fuel standard 640 dual fuel light or 600 series dual fuel light, um, the candela on those lights is like 40,000 or 30,000 or something, and that's because the light pattern is much more spread out and not so focused. Now, if you're like me, you're probably thinking. What I used to think, which is, well, for indoor use, you do want more flood and less focus. You are mistaken. Um, I was mistaken. Once I had the opportunity to use a light that was more focused, it will do everything that a wider, fl more floodier light will do, 
And it will do a lot of things that a not wide or floody light or that a wide and floody light won't do. For example, you can get distance out of a light like this and focus and intensity and disorientation out of a light like this in a way that you will never be able to get out of a light that is less focused. Um, in terms of like, oh, well, can I still see a room? You still have a really tight hotspot. In fact, the hotspot is so tight on this light that you could aim with it using passive aiming like you would use a laser or something and at uh, close enough ranges. That's how tight it is, assuming that it aligned perfectly with your your bore of your rifle. And I can't guarantee that will be ca the case. I'm just telling you it's a very, very tight hot spot. But you still have some spill from the light that is enough that you can see what's going on elsewhere in the room. So um, you can put that concern aside. Um, the reason I went with Surefire and not Cloud Defense and, or uh, OKW or the, what is that? I can't remember the other major company that's out there that's producing these. I know OKW is one, oh, Mod Light is the company that I'm forgetting them out. Is Surefire has a lot of awesome support in terms of their switches. And that was a huge selling point to me because if you decide you want to run night vision, if you decide you want to run um, lasers and all kinds of other things in the future, in my opinion, Surefire makes the best switches. And so it's not just about the light and getting the best light, it's about getting into the best platform overall in terms of accessories, in terms of support, all that kind of stuff. If somebody asked me, do you think that Mod Light will still be making flashlights in 20 years? I'd say, um, well, I don't know. Do you think that Cloud Defense will be making lights in 20 years? And then do you think Surefire will be making lights in 20 years? If I had to place uh, money on the table about which one of those companies is going to have the best long-term outlook and support and so on and so forth, uh, all of it would go on Surefire because they are way bigger than any of those other companies by a large margin. So all of those reasons are reasons why I ended up going with this Surefire Turbo Light, um, this KF... 2A-DFT. Now I'm going to talk specifically about some of the features this light. It comes with a standard clicky switch tail cap. It does not come with this. All of this stuff is extra if you want that. Um, some people like them, some people don't. I think they're pretty convenient if you want to turn the light on temporarily, just briefly, and move around from room to room. I, the pressure switches I think are pretty nice for that. Um, as far as what this includes, it includes um, a couple of different attachment a uh, couple of different attachment methods. One of them is this M-lock attachment. The other one is a little clamp to clamp on to a Picatinny rail. What's neat about this is you can articulate this mount to where the light can be further out or closer in or whatever you want and then when you lock this screw down it holds that thing in place. So you can rotate it nice and close like I have here on these firearms and then lock it and get just the exact amount of clearance you want. So if you look at this, you can kind of see what I've done here in terms of clearance. Now, if I want to run that out further, I could loosen that up and I could roll that light out quite a ways. Um, so I really like the attachment method that comes on these with this M-Lock attachment method. So I'm a big fan of that. They also included a Surefire battery that is USB chargeable. I'll show you that here. So right here, there's a place for a little USB port, micro USB, that you just plug in and you can charge the battery with that included cable on your computer or any other charger or any other thing that you can plug that into. It doesn't come with a power connector to plug it into a wall, it's just a little USB cable. So that's a nice convenient way to be able to charge your batteries. These things take 18650s or two CR123 batteries. Um, oh got my that part was lying there and mixing me up um i do really like the 18650s i already owned a bunch from other lights that i've owned in the past and one of the things that's cool about those if you want to go do a bunch of low light training with different types of firearms and stuff like that you're not going to burn through tons and tons of batteries you got to throw away you just plug these things back in and charge them and and you can use them you can practice in your house whatever in terms of room clearing or in terms of getting accustomed to using and comfortable using the light in different situations and you don't have to worry about spending a fortune on batteries because they include rechargeable batteries that are good for a long time. So 
that's another one of the features I like about it. Um, one of the things that was a bit of a surprise to me that um, I would put, just put out there depending on your space limitations on your particular firearm and stuff like that is this is a very large weapon light. The other weapon lights I had on here before were probably ended where the this bezel begins. That's how much more compact they were than this. So between that and the switch, I mean, you can see the length of that. It is very long. If I, I just put it on my off support hand side, so my fire control hands on this side since I'm right-handed shooter, and my left hand, it comes up here. And so when I'm holding this thing, I've got my hand like this. I find that this is not in the way at all on this uh, 10 and a half inch gun. So that hasn't posed a real problem for me in terms of the way that I've got this set up. That's one of the reasons I wanted a pressure switch. If you were going to run this, you know, it's kind of awkward to reach the switch there. If you were running it on this other side and your switch is clear back here by your thumb, it might cramp your hand a little bit more than what I can do with a pressure switch where I can run my hand a little bit further forward. But. Anyway, so it is a pretty substantial. It is pretty substantial in, in size. So be aware of that. And depending on the firearm you're putting that on, they make a smaller, more compact version of this. But it doesn't take 18650s. It takes like a single CR 123 or something like that as its power source. But it is more compact. So if you have really tight space constraints, that might be a better option for you. And in terms of output and candela, it's very close. I want to say it's like 90,000, where this one's 100. So if space is a big factor for you, that might be a better option. I do recommend the Turbo Series of lights over their 640, 600, any of those. I, I struggled a long time with whether or not to purchase those and because I like the switches and all that, but then when I look at the Candela output of Cloud Defense or Mod Light or any of those, there was definitely, they definitely had one up Surefire and now Surefire has kind of caught up I think those companies in terms of raw performance are probably still a tiny bit better. But when you look at the overall situation of the mount setup, switches, the whole nine yards, I, th I still think that Surefire is the way to go. Anyway, if you guys have any questions or comments about these weapon lights or any weapon lights that you have, or if you found this video at all informative or helpful, we would appreciate it if you would leave a comment in the comment section below and if you would like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.